Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Celestron is one of the top companies for manufacturing telescopes. They have telescope selection from beginner to advanced levels of astronomers. One of the series they have for beginners is the Celestron Astro Master series. The Celestron Astro Master range is their entry level group of telescopes. The Astro Master series has two types of telescopes. One is Astro Master AZ and the other is Astro Master EQ. The only difference between the AZ and EQ is the mount. Everything else is the same in both types of telescopes. AZ means alt azimuth mount and EQ means equatorial mount. We will see the difference between these two mounts at the end of the video. So make sure to watch this video till the end. The telescopes in this series start with a 70 millimeter aperture. Then there is a 90 millimeter aperture telescope, a 102 millimeter aperture telescope, and a 130 millimeter aperture telescope. There are also 76 mm and 80 mm aperture telescopes in this series, but we'll see those two in a separate video. Some of these telescopes are available in both alt azimuth and equatorial mount. Let's see the first 70 mm aperture telescope. This telescope is available in both alt azimuth and equatorial mount. It is a refractor telescope with a 70 mm aperture. It has a focal length of 900 mm and a focal ratio of 13. It comes with two eyepieces. One is 20 millimeters and the other is 10 millimeters. The highest useful magnification of this telescope is 165 times and the lowest useful magnification is 10 times. You can see bright clear images of the moon, planets, and star clusters with this telescope. The next telescope in the series is a 90 millimeter telescope. This aperture size is also available in both alt azimuth and equatorial mount. This is also a refractor telescope with 90 millimeter aperture. It has a focal length of 1,000 mm and a focal ratio of 11. This telescope also comes with two eyepieces. One is 20 mm and the other is 10 mm. The highest useful magnification of this telescope is 213 times and the lowest useful magnification is 13 times. The refractor lens has the coating for maximum efficiency. This telescope's aperture is just 20 mm more than the previous 70 mm model. But this telescope collects 65% more light than the 70 mm aperture telescope. With this telescope, also you can see bright clear images of the moon, planets, and star clusters, but they will be much clearer compared with the 70 mm model. The next telescope in the series is the 102 mm telescope. This telescope comes with only an alt azimuth mount. It has an aperture of 102 mm, which is about 4 inches. This is also a refractor type of telescope. Most telescopes below the 4 inch aperture size are refractor telescopes. We've explained this in the types of telescopes video. Make sure you watch it to know more in detail. This telescope has a focal length of 660 mm and a focal ratio of 6.5. This one also comes with two eyepieces, 20 mm and 10 mm. The highest useful magnification with this telescope is 241 times and the lowest useful magnification of this telescope is 15 times. The total weight of this telescope is 12.2 pounds. You can see much brighter and clear images of the moon, planets, and star clusters with this telescope compared to previous models. The next telescope in the series is the 114 mm telescope. This telescope comes with only an equatorial mount. It has an aperture of 114 mm, which is about 4.5 inches. As the aperture size is more than 4 inches, that's why this one is a Newtonian reflector type telescope and not a refractor type telescope. The telescope has a focal length of 1000 mm and a focal ratio of 8.7. This one also comes with two eyepieces, 20 mm and 10 mm. The highest useful magnification is 269 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 16 times. The optical tube has a length of 457 mm. You'll be able to see Jupiter's bands and its four Galilean moons, Saturn's ring and star clusters with this telescope. The last telescope in the series is a 130 mm telescope. This telescope also comes with only equatorial mount. It has an aperture of 130 mm, which is about 5.1 inches. It has a focal length of 650 mm and a focal ratio of 5. It also comes with the same two eyepieces. The highest useful magnification of this telescope is 307 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 19 times. Its optical tube is a length of 610 mm. You can see all the planets, nebula, and some deep space objects with this telescope. Only bright deep space objects will be visible with this telescope. For deep space observation, you need a bigger aperture telescope. So this 5-inch aperture telescope can be considered as an entry point telescope for deep space stargazing. So, 
There are some of the basic differences in these telescopes in the Astro Master series. Now let's talk about the mounts. An alt azimuth mount is the one that moves up, down, and left, right in any combination you want. You don't need to adjust this mount to use it. You just need to identify an object you want to look at and then simply point the telescope in that direction. On the other hand, equatorial mount needs more setting up than the alt azimuth mount. Its left-right direction runs parallel to Earth's equator, which is tilted at 23.5 degrees from horizontal. So while setting up an equatorial mount, you have to take Earth's rotation into consideration. Once you set up the mount, the stargazing is much easier as you only need to move your telescope in the left and right direction to keep the object in focus. Also, the equatorial mount offers more stability than the Alt Azimuth 1, so it is helpful in deep space stargazing. For beginners, using equatorial mount will be slightly difficult, so do keep this in mind while purchasing these telescopes. Now, which one of this telescope you should buy? All of these telescopes are aimed towards beginners to learn the basics of astronomy. If you're a beginner or want to buy a telescope for your kids, then 70mm or 90mm AZ models are great for kids to begin with. If you want some good views of the planets and also want to explore a little bit of deep space on budget, then higher aperture models like the 114EQ and 130EQ are good for you. So, this was all about the AstroMaster series of telescopes. I hope this video helped you to understand the different telescopes in this AstroMaster series to make a better buying decision. If it did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more technology-related content. See you in the next video. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.